Hi, I'm Chef Mark. Welcome to LearnToCook.com. Today we'll be making a hamburger made with beef. I like to use ground chuck for hamburger. 75%, 25%. That's the ratio it says on the package. That's the ratio of meat to fat. You want to have chuck. It seems to make the best hamburger. You can have a sirloin burger or some other kind of burger cut up from the filet or what have you, but they tend to be very dry. Uh, so you want to use chalk. I use a 75, 20%, 75%, 25% blend. So having said that, that's somewhat room temperature. I mince up onions. Um, I also like to add some salt to that. And then pepper. So the raw onion uh, really goes well um, with the, the hamburger meat. And you can make it smaller dice if you like. I have my medium dice, so it looks different from the average beef burger or hamburger. So with this, we want to compact it. That's a very big hamburger. We're going to make it into small sections, of course. Four ounces is a nice size to make. Four to six ounce. Let's do a six ounce hamburger, compact it tight, and then make oval shape. And the last piece, and then we'll go to the skillet in a few minutes. And we'll pan fry these up. All right, so we have a skillet. I have just a little oil. So here we don't need oil. I just like to put a little oil anyway. It helps the browning process. You can hear a sizzle right away. That's a good sign. Let it brown for a few moments. When it starts to burn on the edges, then you can turn it. Brown in different areas. Let it cook. That's sort of like on low to medium heat. You don't want it spattering. You don't want it on high. So you want to pan fry with so just a little fat, how about if I'm sticking this burger, we'll want to have it medium rare. So we'll let it cook for a few moments and we'll come back. All right, so our hamburger is ready. You'll notice we didn't press, press or squeeze it because you don't want to squeeze your, your burger. You want to make sure it's cooked uh, uh, without pressing. Now we can cut it in half and take a look and see how the inside is if we like it like that. We have a nice medium. You can see how nice and juicy that is. That's the palate feel you want, that nice juiciness. Enjoy. Well, thanks for joining us today at learntocook.com. Be sure to comment and to subscribe. Also visit us on Facebook and Twitter. Have a great day and thank you.